All right, Natalie, here goes. Here's the levitation demonstration that I do in a lot of my presentations. And I do this all the time with my kids in the after school programs. They love it. Uh, what I do, I just set it up where I have all my materials. They're, they're sort of set aside so that people can't see them because then they start thinking about them too much. So typically in my presentation, I'm talking about uh, rocketry, aerodynamics, power of wind, those kind of interesting things. You can tie a lot of different science concepts into this one little demonstration. So here I go, let me get into my mode. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here I am. We're gonna talk about science programming. And I have a demonstration for you. It's brief, but I think you'll enjoy it. And I would be willing to bet that at least 80% of you are going to go home this evening and try this. And this is something that you will be able to try at home. So right now, I need somebody in the audience, a volunteer that can help me out with this. Uh, it's not real dangerous. You probably won't get hurt or anything. But uh, you there in the green, can you please come up up here? All right. I have this high-tech science equipment, and I'm hoping that you're willing to uh, do this and, and, and work with me on this. Uh, have you ever seen one of these? Yes, as a matter of fact, I use one every morning. One of these? Why, yes. What is this? A hair dryer. No, it's not a hair dryer. This is a high-speed wind vortex creator. Um, oh. It's a science apparatus that, that, that we use uh, quite often because we like to spend a lot of money on our equipment, uh, so we get hair dryers. Okay. Can you get those at Walmart? You can. Okay. Target anywhere. Probably even uh, any any major department store, or you can buy one online for nineteen ninety nine. Uh, so anyway, what I need you to do is. Uh, are you strong enough you think that you can hold this I, in a I position similar to that? Okay. okay. All right, good. Now what I need you to do is make sure, is try to picture this as being the floor. I need it to be, um, what's the term, perpendicular to the floor? No, horizontal with the floor, right? Yes. So that it needs to be like sort of not tilted or whatever so that it, it's like flat like that. Okay. Um, and this is real important. And what I want you to do is when I say go, I'm going to want you to do, and this is really difficult, so I'm going to have you practice it, uh, just slide this all the way up. Don't want to use too much energy. Okay. Uh, no, just the one on the right is fine. Thanks for asking. It's always important when we're dealing with high-tech equipment and safety issues. Okay. Okay. On the count of three now, I'd like you to practice. One, and when I say stop, then you can just turn one, two, three. You say you use one of these every day, do you? Okay, good. That's all the way up. That'll go. You want to go up another level? Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. So, all right. So we have this power of this wind generating out of our vortex creator. And what I'm going to ask you to do, as a scientist, you need to make predictions as to what might happen uh, given a situation. Uh, so what I would like you to guess now is what do you think will happen when I place this, call an ordinary ping pong ball, over this cone of air? You think it's going to blow up? Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay. All right, well, let's try this out. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. Now I need you to hold that still. Still as possible. Okay. Now how many of you really thought that this was going to happen the way it did? How many of you really thought that it was just going to blow off and, and take off? Okay. That's more like it. Alright. Now, as scientists, we want to continue exploring our environment. I did this demonstration at a preteen retreat several years back, and I let it set up there. I told the kids, come and play with it if you want. And so I look over there, and then all of a sudden, I see a kid with another object playing with it. What do you think is going to happen when I put this over that cone of air? Yeah, this is way too big. Well, let's give it a shot anyway. Whoa! Is that cool or what? And look, you can tell that the air is keeping it up. Excellent, excellent. All right, now let's make things a little more difficult. Why do you think these two things were able to float above that? 
Oh, because they're round and the wind was able to go around them? Good, good. Now, as a scientist, what do you think will happen when we put an egg over there? What do you, do you have any guesses? I think it might rotate. But will it stay up in the air or will it blow off? Mm, I think it'll stay up for a little while. All right. Let's give that a shot. So your prediction is right. It's staying up, and it, but it is like wobble a little bit. So if you took a look at the two different shapes that we have here, what do you think might influence that? The way the air circulates around it. Exactly. Good, good. Let's see if I have any more goodies. This being Adams County, of course, we like to use apples a lot. A little bit heavier object. Good. Now, just finally, what I'd like to do again is go back to a moment. Whoa! Go back to a moment on my preteen retreat where I saw the kid playing, levitating a ping pong ball, and I saw another kid behind him reach over with another ball. What do you think is going to happen if I put this ball in that column of air? Okay, they're both going to get knocked off. You know, that's a great thing about science. Little around with things like this. Sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. Whoa, is that cool or what? And then imagine the possibilities. Alright, that's pretty much all there is to it, Natalie. So, what you can do is talk about the different concepts. Of course, the ball levitates where it is because that's where that level of equilibrium is where the power of the air shooting up is one force and gravity holding it down. Now what you can do is ask your audience is why they could stay up there in a column. Maybe you can figure it out. Have fun tomorrow. Thanks.